What a great show, isn't it? Uh, I just love Slush, uh, so I'm really pleased to be here. Um, nearly 20 years ago, I co-founded my first startup based in the UK and Belgium. We grew our team to 75 people, and we built chips and software for broadband to the home. We, I must admit, we worked like dogs, and, but we loved it as well. In my first year, I did 26 trips from Europe to the US, where our first customers were found. We made the company globally significant, and we sold the company to Broadcom for a total of $640 million, having raised only $13 million of venture capital. So not surprisingly, I wanted to repeat it and, uh, and co-founded a second company, uh, which I led uh, this time in the UK and France. And we grew that company to over 300 people. And that company focused on building cellular modem chips. So that company was bought by NVIDIA for $430 million. Over a billion dollars in just two companies proves beyond doubt that Europe has got the awesome talent pool needed to build really important companies. And, and we can actually build some good companies and we can make some good money for investors in doing so. But the question I'd like to ask is, were they great? And, and actually, is that what we should be doing? Building companies to feed US tech titans? Or should we be doing something different? So just hold that thought for, for just a minute. So you, you can't tell by my accent, but actually I was born in Scotland in a small mill town. And uh, nobody in my family owned a car, so we walked everywhere. Later, we moved to a city in England. And it was so big, we couldn't walk everywhere, so we used the bus. But I remember the day my dad got his first car. And his really cool wheels look like this. And if you recognize that, that looks like the Harry Potter car. It's because it is. Um, suddenly, our world opened up. And we, we found that we could go everywhere. The roads were empty. It was cheap. And we just had this amazing ability to travel across the city. But bit by bit, that dream has disappeared. You know, and with the densities that we now live in, that's not going to return anytime soon. In fact, our European cities were really designed around the horse, not the car. And in a city like London, we're going to add a million more people in the next 12 years. And what that means is that we're spending the world's resources building cars and vans and trucks, and then we're polluting the environment, and then we're reducing the quality of life in our cities. Later, in old age, my dad had to give up his car, and my mother never drove. And the net result was that they found it very difficult to get around. Uh, and it's not just the old that find it difficult to get around, it's also the young, and it's also the less able, and even people that just happen not to live in the right part of town find it very, very difficult to get around our cities. But it's not just the socially excluded we should worry about. If I were to give you an extra 230 hours a year, what would you do with it? Well, I suppose you wouldn't spend it slumped behind a wheel in a car driving to work. But in fact, that is what over two thirds of European workers do every single day on their commute to the office. It's such a huge waste of human potential. We need a new paradigm. You see, I, I believe in a future where everyone can travel across our cities without having to drive and without any delay. And I believe we should do that at the lowest cost to our planet. It's why we founded 5AI. And it drives everything we do in the company. So what does that mean? How do we achieve that? 
Well, it means we build a transport capability that really is suitable for everyone, young, old, able, not able, rich, poor. We build a capability that delivers that using shared electric vehicles across our cities. We have to make this autonomous because we need to reduce the strain and frustration of driving in our cities and, of course, the cost of doing that. And we've got to be able to operate in really quite complicated, difficult environments. And so what we're doing is we're building autonomous, shared, personal EV mobility for urban environments. So that's the how in terms of how we're doing it. So self-driving leadership is really in the hands of technology companies and predominantly American technology companies. But we're determined to do this here in Europe. And that's because we Europeans have a very different perspective to American and Chinese companies. We know that any solution has to be fully inclusive. We also know that, the, that it has to link to public transport. It, it has to meet the city's objectives. And we know that our cities differ from one another. I mean, not just in the topologies and objects and densities and markings and lighting and signage, but in the human behaviors. We know that Helsinki is very different to, say, Naples. But there's another reason, and it's because it's time. It is time for Europe to build a truly great deep technology company. And that means building a company that goes from deep technology all the way through to the consumer. It's a full stack solution. And that company has got to be confident enough to learn from that American example. It's also got to be confident enough to, to drive customer acquisition and confident enough to attract the capital and to attract the talent to do that. And that company is 5AI. That is what we're doing, and everything we do flows from that. So having done that, you know, having thought that's what we're going to do, one of the key challenges is the channel to market. How are we going to build this technology and get this technology to market? Last year, we heard Steve Jurvetson uh, who's, I think he's here this year, actually. Uh, we, we saw Steve Jurvetson talk about Zooks. And, and, and Zooks' idea was that they're going to build a car, and their route to the consumer is build a technology and put it in a car, sell to consumers. Well, we're not going to do that. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to build an integrated technology and operational layers into an autonomous consumer service. That is the most direct route to the customer. And that will allow us then to iterate our solution to meet the safety and functionality requirements of the future. Solving the, the perception, prediction, simulation, and validation challenges that we see in this problem really represents the holy grail of autonomous driving. And actually, nobody in the world can do this today. Uber can't do it. Waymo can't do it. And we are, I think, within three or four years of reaching human levels of safety. Europe's secret for doing this is very much its talent. And that talent centers around our universities. And those universities um, we're able to recruit uh, staff from, provided we've got the capital and we've got the will to do it. In 5AI, we've raised our first $30 million of capital. And since we started our recruitment at the beginning of last year, we've seen 3,000 people apply to the company. 61 people have joined our team already. And we're working on all the key sciences that are needed. The visual geometry, the Bayesian inference, the deep neural networks, the reinforcement learning, the behavioral typing, the uh, game theoretics, and the control systems needed to build a safe vehicle. And our team is awesome. And I'm going to show you a quick video of some of our people talking about their work. At 5AI, I am involved in developing such computers that can understand their environment as good as humans do. This is critical in making vehicles drive safely around us without any human intervention. Figuring out how we can apply this academic knowledge to address real-world problems, that's what makes 
5AI such an interesting company. And 5AI has the resources and more importantly the attitude that says, you know, let's solve this, whatever it takes. Here at 5AI we employ the best computer scientists, mathematicians and physicists in the world. We give them the resources they need to address these challenges and we wrap their research in engineering expertise and rigour so that what we deliver will be a safe, reliable and world-changing solution. Within the next few weeks, we're going to have five vehicles on the streets of London. In second quarter, those vehicles will be self-driving on public roads. And over the next two years, we're going to add increasing amounts of functionality to the point where our vehicles can drive safely in our dense urban cities, dealing with all the challenges that that requires. That is phase one of our plan to get to that point. Phase two is about building the consumer service offer on top, solving the relationships with OEMs, the regulation, the service layers, and so on. And phase three? Well, phase three is about achieving our goal as a company. That goal is our future, a future we can all participate in, a city that functions, human potential that is realized, a world where we do not squander our resources, a world that we're proud to hand to our kids and to their kids. We believe in that dream. We believe in 5AI. Thank you very much.